Welcome back to another episode of What You Call Science. I'm Felix. I'm Jay. And I'm Alan. Today, we're going to be performing the notorious parachute experiment. The focus of our experiment is to determine the variables that are going to affect the time it takes for a parachute holding a mass to fall from a height. We would like to find out specifically how the variables of the surface area of a parachute holding a mass affects the speed at which the parachute falls. We hypothesise that the parachutes with a larger surface area holding a mass will take longer to reach the ground as there will be more of the frictional force of air resistance acting against it, thus causing a larger amount of drag and lowering the overall falling speed of the parachute track. For this experiment, you will need three garbage bags, three metres of string, three masses, a ruler, tape, measuring scale, scissors, and a stopwatch. Don't stand too close to the balcony. Stay a safe distance away. Don't attack people with the scissors. Always give people scissors by the handle. Cut and shape the garbage bag, preparing it with a small hole in the middle to allow it to fall straight. Measure the surface area of the garbage bag. Cut from the 12 meter string, 8 to 50 centimeter strips, attaching each strip of string to the garbage bag using tape. Drop and repeat multiple times, changing the surface area, graph is off. By conducting it multiple times for each parachute, we will also ensure that we only change the surface area of the parachute and keep the weight of the masses, the length of the string and the height of where the parachutes will be thrown off all the same. Our graph results, based off of an average of each parachute's fall times, has shown us that parachutes with larger surface areas are more effective at slowing the fall of masses. From the data, we see that the parachute with the largest surface area, 1,256.5 cm squared, took a time of over 5 seconds to fall, more than double the amount of time it took for the smallest parachute with the surface area of 314.2 cm squared to fall, which happened to be just over 2 seconds. Conclusively, we have determined that the larger the surface area of a parachute, the longer the fall time. This can be applied to a modern setting, helping skydivers to better understand what parachutes to choose from. Scientifically speaking, the reason why the larger surface area parachutes slowed the fall of the mass was because more air resistance or drag, the force that slows objects moving through a fluid such as air, was able to act against it. Larger surface area objects when moving through the air come into contact with more air molecules, creating a large air resistance. This larger air resistance helps to equalize the force of gravity. As the forces are closer to being equal, we see a large reduction in speed, as we saw in our large parachute. However, in the small surface area parachute, the air molecules weren't able to come into contact as frequently, and thus the air resistance that accumulated was reduced, leaving the two forces of air resistance and gravity unbalanced. That is why the small parachute fell quicker. We could further improve this experiment by performing it on a day with less wind, to get more accurate results. What the hell?